Happy April 12th, everyone. I'm Liam, and we are playing the 2024 Quest Calendar by Sundial Games, the Leaf Riders of Renwood. Yesterday, something happened with the hourglass and the spirit of the Tree of Seasons that we've been carrying since Crown Spire. There was a surge of chaotic energy, and it left Ivy cursed for the time being. Um, it could have been worse, but but not much worse. <laughs> she now rolls with disadvantage on any trait check. That means anytime we roll d20 plus strength or dexterity or any of these attributes over here, uh, we have to roll twice and take the lower result. Thankfully, this will dissipate when we rest again or if we find and use a cleansing crystal. The calendar has been very stingy with rests so far and i don't believe i've seen a cleansing crystal at all yet so that's the state of things i anticipate trouble but we soldier on because ivy's a soldier and that's what soldiers do so let's see what adventure is on the calendar for us today yep <laughs> we're in a fight already uh and route to our Arden Stone, your ears catch the sound of commotion up ahead, buzzing, grunting, and desperate cries for help. Hastening your pace, you arrive to find a group of critters besieged by insects. I do see a hidden, I see a hidden what's it on this page, so let's see what we found. We haven't done this in a while. Uh, there's a table somewhere. Here we go. Roll a 10-sided die. And see what we get. Five. A brawn berry. Uh, brawn berry. Equipment. Here we go. Brawn berry. Um, consumed adds d4 strength to a single roll. So add that to our list here. Brawn berry. I think we had one of those before, I think. Oops, I'm writing on the wrong page. Here we are, Thronberry. I think Ivy found one of these under her bed back in Crown Spire, if I remember right. Strength, that was a while ago. Okay, we get to make a choice here. A charge into the fight for an attack boost that's a strength check and reminder intimidating or we could sneak into the fight for a damage boost that's a dexterity check reminder stealthy or we could approach tactically for a defensive boost reminder investigator we need all the help we can get with this cursed um status so i think we'll play to our strength which is strength we're intimidating. We get to add plus two. Um, what else? We have Royal Might. We can re-roll. Once per page, we can re-roll strength. So, okay. Well, here we go. We're going to roll 20. Well, 2d20s take the lowest. That's a six. Um, six plus two is eight. Plus intimidating is uh, ten. Is there anything else we can do here? Should we re-roll that? I'm going to look and see what we're trying to hit here. If the result is 13, we'd like to get a 13 or more. So let's use our royal might. Why not? <laughs> Four. <laughs> so, okay, we're not going to... Oh, we have the Brawnberry. Uh, I don't know if we re-roll. Do we have to take it? And take the new result. Uh, and I assume, yeah, so we just blew that. <laughs> I think we might have been able to hit, we might have been able to do okay if we, uh, if we used the brawn berry. Because we had 10, uh, we would have had to get three or four. Oh well. Um, emboldened by the adrenaline rush, you charge into the chaos, showing your determination to help the embattled critter, critters. If the result is 12 or less, with a deep breath, you charge headlong into the fray, yet the insects prove too overwhelming. Your charge scatters a few of them, but they regroup and counter swiftly. Okay. Yeah. 
This curse is going to be tough. Uh, rolling with disadvantage means you have about... Uh, you're just as likely to... Um, the median is going to be about six. So we got like a 50% chance of rolling a six or worse. So you can kind of think of this as like a minus minus five or so. But it's worse than that because you're just so much more statistically likely to, to roll low. So hoping for a rest or a cleansing crystal sometime soon, please. Calendar, this is pretty brutal. <laughs> Complain to your GM. All right, well, that, my friends, it is April 12th, so we shall say goodbye for now and visit Ivy and friends again tomorrow. I hope you'll join us. Thanks for watching.